happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the light, it's the kind of thing right that aviation really has affected on. my health for the longest. Uh, and I'm just not playing. I'm not letting, I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And I'm, I'm not finna let this happen. And we're gonna be in real time take a slight right with this turn right here. North. Chicago, happy birthday. What's going on? What's good? What's happening? Part of my precious YouTube channel. Look, we all know about the situation with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and the fact that they're on the outs and they're about to get divorced. We all know about Kim Kardashian praying around town with some white guy named Pete Davidson. We also know that Kanye West is praying around town with some white girl. I don't know her name, uh, but he's playing around town with her. Now, here's the thing. We all are aware that they're doing this to make each other mad and they're playing up the social media game and uh, the media game in general right but here's the, the latest situation with the two of them apparently kanye west uh west daughter chicago west had a birthday party and apparently kanye west was not invited to the birthday party now how do we know this because kanye west put out a a i guess a was a ig post or some type of social media post uh pretty much saying that uh, he wasn't even aware that his daughter had a birthday party and he would be damned if he's going to be kept away from her and the fact that he will never miss one of his children's birthday parties. He's going to be there for his child. He's not going to let Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians control the narrative. Now, the reason why I'm talking so fast like this is because this is a lot to go over. But I want to do it as quickly as possible because I don't really want to spend too much time on this bullshit, right? So, listen, many people believe that Cutting West is wilding out. Now, I don't believe that. I believe that he did the right thing by documenting what occurred. I also believe that he did the right thing by showing up for his daughter's birthday party. Because like he said, if he doesn't show up, then they could also put out there in the media that Kanye West has abandoned his daughter. That Kanye West is not around for his daughter. Uh, meanwhile, that's far from the truth. So he wants to make sure that he is in attendance and that he's seen and he's being heard. And he gets to spend his particular time for his daughter, which is an important time. Someone's birthday is something where both parents should want to be at. Now, when it comes to situations where you are dealing with a divorce or dealing with parent, uh, parental rights, then there's always a sticky situation. And from what I'm hearing, apparently they had some type of agreement where they were supposed to have two separate birthday parties. And Kanye West was supposed to have his own separate birthday party on his own, where Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians would not be invited. So for him to do this and put this on social media, who knows if this is really a genuine moment and this is him standing up for you know, his right to be a father, standing up for all fathers, uh, who are dealing with the city situation as well too but it's interesting to see this play out especially for him being a billionaire as he is that he's going through the same thing that people on the corner who make less than twenty thousand dollars a year are dealing with as well too so that's interesting about this uh what i will say is that being in Kanye West's shoes and the fact that he has to deal with all of these things in a public fashion, he kind of handled this well because in that post that he put out there it's weird because he's driving and he's holding up the camera to his face or the phone to his face and he's talking. And to be honest, this is probably the most coherent I've ever seen Kanye West uh, in a long time. Uh, he was able to articulate the situation and what he's dealing with. He was able to uh, pretty much uh, narrate what he's doing. And he's driving himself there. You seem to be alone as opposed to when he's with other people in a whole group in the entourage. So he's doing this on his own. He's driving on his own. He's able to talk. Uh, uh, to people and pretty much explain his point of view and it's very articulate very convincing so it's kind of wild because we're used to seeing Kanye West being this uh, guy who is not well spoken a guy who's inarticulate a guy who pretty much blurts out things uh, speaks in half sentences and says I'll land the shit but this was a very calm and reserved and a very convincing and a very uh, uh, you know, intelligent person that spoke with conviction in regards to how he feels about parenting and showing up as a father in his children's lives. So it was good that Kanye West was able to control his own narrative and make sure that he showed up for his children. And for all fathers out there, understand this simple thing. No matter what type of restrictions or any obstacles that the mother might put in your way, always make sure you show up for your children no matter what. Make sure that children know that you're one phone call away, that you're readily available and accessible, that they have your telephone number. If 
they feel the need to reach out to you that you don't abandon them because it's very easy for the children to take on the mindset of the mother the mother's manipulative and it's very easy for the children to believe in what the mother is telling them so you make sure you control your own narrative you make sure you have your own relationship with your children and that you never let someone else prevent you from seeing your child Okay, regardless of whatever uh, visitation rights you may have, whether it's limited or you have to, you know, spend time with them with someone else in attendance, that's fine. Do it. Bite that bullet. Make sure that you're there. Make sure you show up because eventually what's going to happen once the children become adults and they no longer have that barrier in their way, they are going to reach out to you and they won't look at you as a stranger because you know you've been a constant presence in some form or fashion in their lives. And one last thing, keep in mind that children never care about money. They never care about whether you're paying child support or not. What they care about is if you're spending time with them, are you invested in them emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically. That's what children care about. They want to know that they spend time with their father, that the father's interested in what I have going on. The father shows up when I need him to show up. They don't care about any of the finances. So never let the mother trick you into thinking because you are unwilling to pay child support or that you are unable to pay child support or that you refuse to pay child support, that that means that your children don't want to see you, be around you, feel your presence and learn from you because they still do regardless. So never let that be a hindrance or something that can you that they can put over your head to let you feel that you cannot be around and that you cannot be an active father in your child's lives you always can no matter what so I, I give him praise for that I commend him for how he handled that and according to the footage he did attend the birthday party he was able to spend time with his daughter and his other children as well too and there were no issues apparently uh, he was some issues going through security in the beginning but after he was let through by apparently uh, Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner everything was fine and this just goes to show you that when it comes to a children's birthday party you don't have to make it about yourself as uh, a parent you could actually get this all resolved and done without any conflict whatsoever because your children should never have to know that there's conflict especially on a day as important as their own birthday so respect to Kanye West for taking this time out of his busy schedule. So he, again, he, apparently he had to be somewhere else, right? Because he's an entertainer. He's someone who travels for a living. He's someone who has to, uh, you know, be up uh, long nights and be all over the world. So for him to take this special day out to get this done and to make sure that he shows up for his family, uh, I commend him and I have nothing but praise for him. And anybody else who has something bad to say about Kanye West and the fact that he moved in right beside Kim Kardashian, understand this. These guys are entertainers. These guys have access to money to do these things. If I had a lot of money, would I move by my baby mama's house to make sure that I'm within a certain distance where I could be with the children wherever I need to, or I could, uh, you know, always come by and check out how my children are doing and, and vice versa, always have, you know, some, you know, good access uh, where you're able to see your children anytime you want to, or they could see me whenever they want to. Why wouldn't I do that, right? This is one thing that you understand in this world is that when you have money, it allows access, it allows you to do things that you normally can't do. And that's probably one of the things that I would put my money up for is to make sure that I can spend as much time with my children as possible, right? And make sure that their lives are taken care of and their lives don't have to be hard, right? So once again, that's my take on the whole situation with Kanye West and him driving wherever he was driving from to get to his daughter's birthday party and crash that birthday party. All respect to him. This is a way to control the narrative. And as I said before, uh, in the previous video, when it comes to fathers who want to be active in their children's lives, there is a quote by Remy Ma when she made this comment on one of the shows that she used to be on with Joe Budden, where she said that the only fathers that deal with these issues or the only fathers that deal with baby mama drama are the fathers who care and want to be involved. Because the fathers who don't care, who don't want to be involved, who don't want to even be a father for the children, they don't have to deal with all these problems because they can never be tricked into having to fight for the children or not even tricked. They don't have to go through the whole situation of fighting for the children because they don't want to be in the children's lives, right? And the baby mamas don't want to fight against them because they know that's an angle that they can't take because the father does not care. So they can only manipulate men who care and want to be involved. And this is where you see a lot of manipulation between what's happening with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Hopefully things resolve and it doesn't take 
uh, a nasty turn and it doesn't escalate to anything more. And I hope they resolve each other's conflicts for the sake of their family and their children because they have about, what, four or five uh, young children. So again, all respect and praise due to Kanye West. You let me know how you feel about the situation. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, next move, best move, part of my presence YouTube channel. Peace.